Maggie and Kay. We're going to talk to you about the belly bands next in our new dye collection. And this time we have Mexican belly bands and walrus belly bands. Again, they will correspond with your previous Mexican whisker dyes, your walrus whisker dyes, your flip-flap dyes. So each die set has a set of four dies. And these dies are slightly different in that the ends have no cutting edge. So I'll show you. This is the base die, just cut into the card and you can see there's no cutting edge. Now that means that you can cut into de decorative paper, you can actually leave that as it is, but you will then have an aperture that will hold whatever you want on your page. But I'm just going to trim at the edges here, just to show you. I'll just cut across here, and I'll cut across here. Okay. And then when you get your mat, again, this, is, this doesn't have an end cut, so you can trim it to fit. So what I would do now is cut that to fit. So I've got like a good mat and layer. Obviously use a trimmer so you get it straight. So that will mat and layer on top of there like that. Okay. I've trimmed it too much there, but I'll show you one that I've finished. Then you've got two other pieces that fit on top. So you've got that one, and then you've got this one that will fit on there like that. So if I show you a finished page, which is here, that is the concept. That's how the belly band works. So I cut out the base one in a dark card, patterned paper with the smaller shaped die, then I mat and layered on top. And the beauty of these dies is because they're, the apertures are open, you can actually see where to lay it on your decorative paper so you can cut it out exactly where you want to cut it out from the patterned paper. If you have a tag shape here, these are also useful. You can use them as tag toppers this way. So you could line them up and stick them on like that, but they will also fold in half. So that's your finished tag there. So this time I've created a flap with my base card using the, the largest walrus whisker die and then I die cut the next whisker size down to mat onto there like that. Okay, so I'm going to stick that onto there. I've already stuck this in place and I cut one for the other side and I've stuck that there. Now you'll see that that doesn't fit to there but that's fine because we're going to cover that up. And I have a magnet under here already and I'm just going to pop another magnet using my Magpop. That's it. Okay, I'll pop that down there and we'll burnish that very well. Now, that's where my pocket's going to go. Now, if you, if you stick this onto your base page like this, when you go to put things into your pocket, you might find it catches on the Magpop. So what I would recommend is, it doesn't matter if you do that, as long as you've used a Magpop so it's well covered, but if you've used double-sided tape, other things will stick to it, unless you've covered it with um, paper already. So what we tend to recommend is, don't stick it on your base page there. Stick your top one in. Okay, like that. And you think, oh, you can see that. You won't be able to see that. Then you're going to stick your pocket on, which will cover that. Just on the edges. on three sides, so that will go on there like that. But make sure that's lined up straight. Okay, then that's going to go onto the base there. And check that your dots are in line as well. I can see that they're not in line there, so something I haven't cut, so that's better. Okay, so that's there 
like that. Then take your MagPop, connect it to your magnet, put it on, and it will sit on the base card here so nothing is going to catch when you slide it in under there. And then you're going to pop this one on top. And that's there, like that. So at the moment that closes like that, we'll pop this one on. And any pencil marks you've got, just rub them off afterwards, but make sure the glue's really nice and dry so you don't move anything. So that's that there. Then I'm going to take my matching belly band, which is a walrus belly band, and I'm actually going to run that along there so it gives more of a feature, but there's also something else you can tuck in a... You could either have that flat like that, or you can leave it um, not stuck at the top so you can slide things in, but I think this time I'm going to stick it down flat. This, stick it on. remember we've got this bit here where you can see so what I did was the waist from the belly band when I cut it out with the navy that fits there from the smaller one so I just cut it out and popped it on you can just cut, cut a belly band but when you're cutting the belly band in make sure you've got more card here so that then you can make your pocket longer on there, and that one, actually, shall we have that one, no, we'll have it that way because I've cut it that way, and that's that, and that pattern picks up the pattern there and it continues it, and that's still wonky so it's going to drive me mad, so that's how, that's utilising your belly band in different ways in conjunction with your flip flaps. 